there's two outlooks you can have when thinking about God and the world. The average way somebody comes about their connection to God is there's the world and then there's something, there's God. You know, but first there's the world and then there's God. But that's not the proper way to look at it. First there's God and then there's the world. God is not some thing that we're trying to get to and that God's nice, but then there's the world, you know, you, you have the world and okay, you find a, a little a little interesting part of your life connected to God. That's not at all why God created us. God's not a little part of this world. The truth is there's nothing else but God. The true existence in this world, beyond this world, the only true existence at all is Hashem, is the creator, the God of Abraham. And then there's the world. And then there is the world. Why? Because Hashem is merciful, He's kind, and He decided to give us our own existence. But in reality, we don't exist. Did you, did you create yourself? Did I create myself? No, I didn't create myself. Something else here is going on. The Creator created me. You know, a lot of people, they say, people get insurance on everything. They insure their car, they insure their business, they insure their, their life, they insure everything, everything, their, their phones, their, their playstations, people, their laptops, people insure everything. What about insuring your neshama, your soul? What about insuring the part of God within you? Why not ensure that that also gets protected? How do you do that? By learning Torah, doing mitzvahs, and doing acts of kindness for other people. And if you're not Jewish, keeping the seven laws of Noah and spreading light into the world. We have to always remind ourselves that Hashem is the only true existence. And every moment that we are here, every moment that you are alive, Hashem is giving you that life. He is keeping you in existence. It's not your own doing that your heart is still beating, that your kidneys are working, that your brain is working, that your blood is flowing from one organ to another, that you're able to go to the bathroom on your own, that you have clothes on you. Everything is not your own doing as much as we might think sometimes it's from our own doings. No, it's from the ultimate kindness of the Creator. And we have to give Him the attention He deserves because... Because that's how we get to where we need to be. By recognizing, by being conscious of the fact that Hashem is creating us and He has a mission for us. And if we don't do that mission, we wasted this beautiful potential that, we, that we've been given. And we're not going to do that. We're going to use it. But to focus on the positive, when we do do what Hashem is wanting, wants from us, we fulfill our mission in creation and we prepare the world. We're transforming this world into a light, a godly realm, a place, a world where God could dwell. You know, everyone feels like they need something more in life. Until you connect to Hashem. Then you realize that what you've been looking for is that connection to Hashem. And we could always grow. Hashem is infinite. So we could always get higher. If something's infinite, it means no matter how high up you are, you're still infinitely below this, the, the superior one. So you could always grow. So the reason why we're all having feelings of wanting more, something else has to be going on here. That's, that's what's going on is Hashem is waiting for us to have a relationship with Him. And He gives us the relationship through the Torah, through kindness. Literally just, even if you're just sitting down and you meditate on Hashem, you think, whoa, what's going on here? There's a whole world that's been created. I didn't create myself. I've been created. What is going on here? How can I fulfill what Hashem wants for me? How can I make Hashem happy? How could I cause this world to reveal Hashem? How could I cause Hashem to be revealed in this world? When you do a good deed, you're turning this physical world into a spiritual world. Ultimately, with the coming of Mashiach, the light of Hashem will radiate in this world and everyone will know that God is one. Thank you so much. I wish you blessings and everything. And we should all come close to our Creator. Thank you.